I was born in Blenheim, but I, um, I didn't actually start playing basketball until I moved up to Hamilton. We moved up to Hamilton when I was nine and started playing basketball until I was 16. So, yeah, I wasn't, wasn't a real sporty kid growing up, but um, yeah, I, I took up the sport when I was uh, sixth form at Fraser High School in Hamilton. And, um, and yeah, I've been a, been a basketball player ever since. Like most Kiwi kids, I played, played rugby on a Saturday mornings when I was, when I was a little kid. But um, yeah, outside of that, I, I wasn't a hugely sporty kid growing up. And, and yeah, basketball was really the, the first sport that I took seriously. When I first started playing, you know, there aren't many, uh, you know, six foot ten, seven foot high school kids walking around. So, um, so you know, a few, a few people figured out who I was quite quickly, and I was put into some like development camps and development teams and, and age group teams and stuff like that. And um, you know, once I started learning the game and figuring out I could become quite good, um, yeah, that's where that's where I decided that, that basketball would, would be my sport. I was eager to learn, and you know, I think I picked up the game and and, uh, and learned quite a few things quite quickly. And um, and yeah, it's just helped me. And, you know, I'm still developing into um, 28 years old, but I still think I'm you know have a lot of room left to improve. And um, and yeah, that's just the way that I've always approached the game, just, you know, listening to coaches and, and wanting to improve. Like a, a guy named Tab Baldwin, he, he used to be the um, he used to be the, the head coach of the um, of the Tall Blacks or the national team and and I met him pretty early, like not long after I started playing and, and one quote he told me was, you know, being taller than everyone will you know, will get you through a couple of doors but it won't keep you there. And um, so yeah, I've always remembered that quote, and I've you know I think I'm a person who, who works pretty hard, and you know I, I think I'm pretty dedicated to the sport, and um, and you know I, I still am, and I'm still looking to improve. When I was a development player with the Breakers back in 2009, uh, a team came over from the United States. They were called uh, Athletes in Action, and um, and we one of the games that we, we played a couple of preseason games against them, and one of those games was in Rotorua. And uh, we took them out to the little like Maori cultural centre that they that they have out there. And uh, and being the tall white guy of the team, they decided to make me um, the chief of the breakers. And um, so yeah, I, I was the one that had to do the little um, like little ritual thing when you kind of get welcomed into another another tribe's village, and that was quite intimidating. But um, but yeah, the name, yeah, I was the, the chief of the breakers, you know, for that night, and that kind of nickname just has stuck ever since. I went to university in the United States for four years. I was there, f I was in Kansas City, Missouri for three years, and I was in Charlotte, North Carolina for one year, and uh, that, that was a terrific experience, and that came about from my my high school coach uh, at the time, because I, when I was seven, I started playing basketball when I was sixth form at Fraser, but when I was seventh form, I, I transferred over to Hamilton Boys, and um, and yeah, one of the one of the coaches on the team uh, had had a couple of contacts, and uh, and that's how that kind of came about. My parents have always been very supportive of me. They, you know, they spent quite a lot of money and sacrificed quite a lot of quite a bit, you know, sending me away to various basketball camps and and uh, you know playing on different basketball teams. You know, that stuff wouldn't have been cheap for them, and uh, and you know just. You know, being able to, you know, show them some little bit of reward for, you know, that stuff that they did for me when I was a kid. Um, you know, that's probably, you know, those two are you know, definitely the ones who influence me the most. Injury has been the biggest challenge, um, but you know, with the with the way basketball is in New Zealand at the moment, um, you know, there's there's a lot of new players coming through and a lot of competition. So, you know, the the competitiveness, trying to get, you know, there's a lot of players, but there's only a limited number of spots. So, you know, that's that's becoming a challenge as well. But, um, yeah, I think start, and starting starting the game late, you know, 16 is quite a quite a late age to start playing sport. But, you know, I think I've, you know, I improved quite quickly and, and I think I'm still improving to this day. And, um, but yeah, there's, you know, there's, there's a lot of challenges with professional sport and, uh, you know, you just have to be prepared for them. Well, firstly, uh, you have to look after yourself. You have to, you have to know how to eat properly and, 
uh, and you know how to basically just take care of yourself. You have to, um, you know, obviously you have to work hard. You can't expect you can't expect things to just happen. You know, I think that's that's what happens to a lot of young people. You know, they get told this and that at a young age, and they just expect that it's going to happen because you know someone told them that it would. But um, but yeah, just. Just, you know, and also another thing that some young people have a tough time with is, uh, you know, you have to sacrifice quite a, quite a lot. You have to, you know, when your friends are going out and doing whatever, sometimes you have to say no. You know, if, you're true, uh, if you truly want to make it, um, you know, you have to learn to say no to those things sometimes and, um, and, you know, just really dedicate yourself. There's a lot of competition out there and, you know, every day that you're not working on your game, or working on whatever your particular sport will be, uh, you know, there's somebody else who is. And if you, you know, if you want to make it to the top, um, you know, you have to you have to dedicate yourself and work really hard. And I started playing um, when, I, when I was a little later than most. But um, but you know, it's it's a great you know. I wish like a lot of people have made sacrifices for me and helped me out along the way. And uh, you know, I just feel a bit of a duty to do that to other people. And uh, yeah, it's just a great organization to be part of.